Hi there! So today I've got my hands on Maxima's newly launched Max Pro X5 smartwatch. And there's so many things exciting about this one. Firstly, Realtek chipset, advanced LC11 heart rate sensor for more accurate heart rate and SpO2 readings, and a huge 1.7 inch display. It's priced at just 2999 which seems like a really promising deal. So let's quickly unbox it, we'll see how it looks, how it performs, and I'll let you know if this one is worth your money or not. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Maxima Max Pro X5. You can see it mentions 1.7 inch HD display, the image of the watch. Towards the back, you can see the colors it's gonna be available in, blue, red, gray, and black. Now this is actually just a cover on the top which prevents the box from getting damaged. Maxima Pro X5 mentioned here. Towards the back, you can see the specifications. Some of them I just mentioned earlier. On the side here, it mentions 1.7 inch big HD display, incoming call notifications, heart rate sensor, sleep monitoring, multi-sports modes. On the other side, social media notifications, SPO2 sensor, pedometer, calories, and find phone. All right, let's open it up. Okay. Wow, that blue looks amazing, wow. We'll have a closer look at it in just a moment. And you have the magnetic proprietary charging cable. And you have some paperwork, activate your warranty, the instruction manual. Wow, that's pretty detailed. Great. All right, let's have a closer look at it. So first thing that we see is we have a sticker or a screen protector which says press this button on the side for three seconds to power it on and to power it off. That same button is when you want to go back in the menu. Also remember to charge this watch before you get started. So let's remove this sticker. All right. So my first impressions of a blue strap is that it looks absolutely gorgeous. And you know my favorite part? The frame is also blue, yes. Now that is a metallic aluminum frame and it looks really nice. I'm really loving this flat design. Also worth mentioning, it's so slim, really nice. Now metallic frames usually give it a solid and a premium look, which is really good. On the other side, you can see there's a single button and I prefer these flat buttons to round ones because these don't get stuck in cloth or any material. Now the quality of the strap is really good. It's made of soft silicon, very, very soft. The buckle has a chrome finish with Max Pro branding. The back, okay, so the back is made of plastic and houses the heart rate sensor, the SPO2 sensor, and the charging terminals. Now these straps also can be swapped with any third-party bands. Just make sure you pull this hook from here to release the strap and you can change it with other colors. Really simple. All right, let's pair it. So first thing you're gonna do is go to your Android Play Store and search for Maxima SW. This app is also available for iOS. Click Install. Once you're logged in, come to Device, click Add, and now take your watch, press this button on the side, press it and hold it. You'll get a vibration alert with the Max Pro branding. There you go, you can see your watch right here. Pairing, confirm here, and you're done. All right, let's start with the display. So it comes with a huge 1.7 inch LCD display. It's really big and the display goes almost till the edges. The color reproduction is also good, but the best part is that it gets bright enough to use outdoors as well. And that's because it comes with 450 nits of peak brightness. However, it does lack the auto brightness feature, but you can manually set the brightness from the settings. Remember, lesser the brightness levels, longer the battery life. So as you can see, I'm wearing this watch and since it weighs just 30 grams, it's really comfortable and light to wear for long hours. Now, weight plays a very important role here, especially when you wear it to track your sleep. It has to be light and comfortable. Let's check out the race there is to wake the display. Well, it's mostly fast and responsive. However, sometimes it would take a second or so. But the good thing is that it worked every time without fail. The Max Pro X5 comes with IP68 rating and it also includes swim tracking. So wear it to the gym or in the rain or even to the pool. It's absolutely safe. Coming to the sensors. So it comes with an advanced LC11 heart rate sensor for accurate heart rate and SpO2 monitoring. Now this is a big deal. You can buy a fitness tracker or smartwatch, but if their sensors aren't accurate, the whole point of having a smartwatch is somewhat lost. So let's put this to the test. As usual, first we place the watch on the table to see if we get any reading. And it says, please wear the wristband properly. Okay, let's wear it and check it again. 
there you go we get a heart rate reading now let's check out spo2 as well make sure you stay still for a couple of seconds and there you go rest you get the camera shutter app from where you can take pictures remotely breathe app to help you relax there's also a watch face app which basically is to change pre-installed watch faces rest there are many more to download from the maxima app there's analog watch face digital watch face a huge collection to choose from you can also custom set a watch face choose the place where you want to set the time the font color select the picture of your choice and select done wait for a couple of seconds there you go custom watch face is something everyone loves time to check out the watch interface so press the button from the side to wake the display swipe from up to access quick toggles you can see the battery percentage the weather the first icon is the torch where the display turns white helpful when you're in the dark the second one is to adjust the brightness the third one is do not disturb then this is find my phone music app to access music QR code, information and settings. Moving towards the right, you can access the Breathe app, the music app and you can control the music that's playing on your phone, the weather app, sleep tracking, heart rate and your daily activity. Steps, kilometers in distance, calories burnt and beats per minute. Back to the home screen. Now swipe from down and you can access the sports, watch faces, messages, camera shutter, find my phone, the Breathe app, blood oxygen, countdown and settings. In settings, you can adjust the brightness levels, sleep screen time, QR code, power off, reset and about. Overall, I can say that the user interface is actually quite smooth. There's no drop frames or any lag. Now coming to sports modes. So we get 10 workouts on the watch itself. Walking, running, cycling, climbing, yoga, basketball, football, badminton, skipping and even swimming. But there are even more workouts that you can access from the Maxima app like there's treadmill, elliptical machine, weightlifting, tennis and ping pong. The watch lacks built-in GPS but you can use your watch GPS from the Maxima app to track your outdoor workouts more accurately. This is great. Then you also receive call alerts with vibration. It's almost instantaneous. You can see the caller's name and an option to reject the call. But there's no option to answer or silent the ringer. Similarly, you receive notifications from other apps, including social media apps as well. You can see the app icon with the message, but you can't reply. You can only read and dismiss them. Let's have a quick look at the Maxima app interface. So first thing on the status page, you can see the total steps that you have taken, calories burnt, distance, activity time, your last workout, heart rate, sleep tracking and your blood oxygen levels. If you come to workouts, you can actually do your GPS tracking right from here. And there are a lot more workouts that you can access from this app here. Then further in devices, you can actually see your device. You can see if it's connected. You come into watch faces and you can actually see the watch faces that are installed. And if you want to install more, you come to more and you can access more. Further back, you can turn on call reminder. Then there's app alerts. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Then there's alarms. You can set directly from the app set entry reminders, goal notification, music control, drink water alert, time format can be changed from 24 hours to 12 hours depending on your preference. Then you can toggle raise the wrist to wake the display on or off, automatic heart rate detection. Now currently it's turned off but if you turn it on it will reduce your battery life. Easy camera is from where you can use your watch to take pictures. There you go. Firmware update. If you come into profiles, you can see goals, unit, about. And there's also an option for third party access, which is where you can actually share data with the Google Fit app, which is amazing. Overall, a really clean, simple, easy to use interface. Coming to the battery. So Maxima claims that the Max Pro X5 will provide 30 days of standby time and 15 days with typical use, which is really, really good. But keep in mind that battery life will vary according to your use. Also, very important point. One of our biggest concerns while buying any smartwatch is after sales. Now this one comes with one year warranty against all manufacturing defects. Now that's something we have seen with most smartwatches. But Maxima has taken it to the next level. Now just in case there is a problem with your Maxima watch, they will arrange for a pickup via Blue Dot from your location, repair it or replace it and send it back to your doorstep. All you have to do is call their toll free number or visit their website and request for a pickup. In fact, you can even book a video call with the technical team 
and they will assist you to get your problem solved. This is just amazing. Now buy the new Maxima smartwatch without worrying about after sales. It's available in four colors, black, gray, blue and rose gold. It's exclusively going to be available on Amazon for $2,999. I'll leave the links for all in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.